And hello everybody, welcome back to Total War Arena. This time we're playing as Alexander the Great, Roland Spears, uh, Heavy Spearmen. They're pretty fun. I like to, you know, my favorite way to do melee anything is to try and get as many hammer and anvil attacks as possible. And Alexander the Great actually has skills that are called hammer and anvil. So that's pretty much how you're supposed to use them. Usually that's a cavalry tactic and Alexander the Great is also a cavalry commander, but he... He can do regular dudes, too. I think I just unlocked Cavalry for him, so maybe I'll make another video with those, but... Generally, when I play Cavalry, I lose them very quickly. I'm not very good with them. I'm a little recluse. <laughs> uh, but here we go. On this map, Thermopylae, this is where the hot gates are. This is probably my favorite map out of all of them. There's only one tower here in the middle, so it's important that you grab it right away. And see this teammate of mine was... I, I don't know what kind... I think he has Ballista? I don't know how you do that. Like, you can just drop your ballista and then rebuild them somewhere else. I actually haven't figured out how to do that. Maybe that's, like, an item you can buy or something, but I don't know. Whatever. But, uh, moving through, when you're in formation, which is the G ability of Alexander the Great, it keeps your guys in formation, and I think that makes you go even slower through the woods. I didn't know that. I don't even know if that's true. I gotta test that. But I was just thinking about it. Like, maybe if I broke formation... I could get through the woods a little faster, but woods will slow you down either way. But my whole idea is just get through this middle section. It's not the actual middle, it's this little ridge above the middle. So it's usually not very defended, uh, unless they're rushing top, and they usually have a few people in the woods. Uh, here you can see they have archers, we have archers on the, on the actual gates. We have a lot of guys at the gates. And we outnumber them down there, so that's good. Uh, losing the gates. Most people don't engage down there. I haven't really seen it. Usually people come in the middle and get killed by siege weapons. <laughs> but uh, it's fun fighting down here. I just haven't really, you know... I prefer to uh, be a little more specialist as where, in where I actually move my people. So I saw nobody was going this way, so I spawned next to it. And... Uh, here in a second, we find out that they got some guys hanging out in these woods back here. And you don't want to keep that tower active all the time, because that lets their siege know where to fire. So, my teammate's being really smart with not keeping it on all the time. But here we find some archers, we find some pikes. So I do a silly thing, and I uh, do hammer on two of my units, but not the third. I don't know if that inflicts more or less friendly fire on my own guys. Either way, you're supposed to just hammer with one. And then you see Anvil there. Anvil, what it does is it pins guys down. So then you can take another one of your units around back and then use hammer to charge into them from behind and you make a nice little hot dog of spears and corpses. But uh, fighting right here, you don't really get a chance to do that. I'm more just trying to slow them down in case there's more guys. And my ally's firing into me, so I started actually moving back a little bit. I can hear, not looking at it, but see, you can see right there. We're actually getting some siege up here, but they can't see that, that far, like, at all. So, he's just manually aiming and guessing where he is. And I notice that they start backing off, so I just turn around and take out the rest of them. And it's just one player. I At this point, if he had friends nearby, they would be backing him up and killing all of us. <laughs> So uh, I stay in formation. When you stay in formation, it's really good because if you actually get attacked from behind or if people are firing into you with uh, missiles, you're not all bunched up. So you take less damage from range, like arrows anyway. It's not significant, but it helps a little. And here I go, just kind of like moving forward. At this point, you can see on the minimap that we have a lot of guys up on this hill on the, on the, in the video on the right, but on the minimap in the south. Uh, we have a whole bunch of guys stacked up there. Uh, right now, there's still combat going on in the middle of the map and the north of the map. All hell's breaking loose. So, I see that the enemy has guys pretty much everywhere. But not here. <laughs> so, I'm thinking one of two things is going to happen. Either we're going to lose the top in the south. And then they're going to charge down into our base. Because we have base defenses. Uh, and I know they have siege in their base, at least. So... Either I'm going to charge up that hill and try and help out and get a sandwich going on between, you know, charging from behind and sandwich with my allies who are already up there, or I'm going to go try and capture their base and kill their siege. And at this point, looking over there, they're 
the enemy's retreating back into their base, and we've taken the middle of the map. And I'm looking up here just to see how we're handling things up there, and I kind of decide, yeah, we're going to go up there. And let's find out uh, how many more guys are up there, because there's so many woods up here, you can hide so many dudes. But then I second guess, because you can see arrows coming from the forests, and those aren't friendly. And then I see uh, we're kind of outnumbered, so I decide, well, we have guys in the middle coming up towards their base. And they're going to need backup because they're outnumbered. Because our enemy has a whole uh, player's worth of spears, a whole player's worth of bows, and siege weapons back there set aside. Now we're just going to come back and try and help out over here, maybe get a quick cap. Because even at this moment, though, we're winning. We have 300 more men. And at this point, I believe we've won the hot gates. Or at least they're falling back. I think they're falling back. Oh, what happened is that they came around the back, tried to come around the back of our base and they got sniped by our bowmen, I think. But at this point, up here on this hill, uh, things are going bad. They're very outnumbered. We have siege weapon guys up there dying and it's bad news bears. So I'm feeling pretty good about my decision not to back them up because they're going to die. Either way, like they're kind of screwed. So you can see that our numbers are dropping way faster than theirs at this point. Because they're just clearly outnumbered. But uh, in the actual hot gates, this right now is, it's pretty cleared up. There's like a little bit of guys, see some siege guys running and uh, some swordsmen, but that's pretty much all taken care of. So right now, We're capturing the enemy we just got to grab their base, the really. Uh, we have okay defenses and I think we have guys who are at the hot oh, gates who are gonna fall back to our base if they actually take the top. At least that's what I was hoping they were going to do. And here's a great example of a hammer and anvil. I have my smaller, tattered forces going after these archers at the moment. But then my main commander force is going to come here and hammer on this anvil. And see how all their guys are pinned together. And uh, we're going to try and just pancake them. I think I just give up and just move my guys into the base to try and get their archers into the base. And here we go. Hammer away. Uh, you do get... You do inflict some friendly fire on your allies when you do that, but it's not bad. Uh, the benefit of this is that you drain the morale very quickly. <laughs> See, they already routed. You drain the enemy's morale really, really quickly, but they can't run anywhere. So you, they're not fighting back, and you're just killing them. It's, it's the best tactic in Total War, really. It's what you want to do all the time if you can do it, but it's kind of hard. So at this point, uh, numbers are even pretty much on both sides. We both have about a thousand men, but we are capturing their base. And they've taken the top, if you can see, the, the south of the mini-map. All of our guys are pretty much dead. And you can... I don't think I knew this at the time, but I just assumed that they are going to come back to their base. Because we're capturing, so... They have to send men back to, t to like stop the capture. And we don't have as many forces as they do up on that hill. So it, it's smart for them to come back rather than push forward because once you're on top of that hill, you're halfway across the map from that route. This map has like the three main routes. It has the, the hot gates, the north, the middle, and then the south hills. And then in those routes, they have these like divergences, which makes it a really interesting map, especially if you're running siege. Because even if you have vision and are sieging one path, the enemy, or you, if you're being sieged, you have another route to get through where they may or may not have vision. So it's pretty well balanced. I like it a lot. So here, I decide, okay, if their archers start shooting on people inside their base, it's going to tick down our capture percentage. And we need to capture this before they reach us. So I decided to just kind of maybe suicide my men into them. Uh, either way, I want to tie up these archers so they don't get hits off on our guys inside the base. Because once they start getting hits off, then the percentage goes down. And their spearmen are slow, they're heavy, so they aren't going to reach it in time. And at this point, I have my main forces just sitting in there with my allies, and we're just kind of hanging out. And the ticker will hit 100, and that is how we win. And, yeah, it was a pretty good match, a lot of fun. Uh, this gave me enough XP to actually get pikemen, which is kind of crazier. Um, I did one match with them, and I killed all my own men. I'm not going to upload that, but I'll explain how that happened in that video when I do a pikemen video. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.